Yeah, the, 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 the belly opens right here and the parachute with the product drops out of the bottom. Zipline, a startup tech company founded in the Silicon Valley, is one of the many drone operating companies that has approached the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority for a license to operate its service. In Africa, Zipline operates in Rwanda, delivering blood and vaccines to hospitals that are in remote areas. Uh, Zipline International is a Silicon Valley-based startup that is the world's first drone delivery company. We focus on improving health logistics in places where there are such challenges as cold chain and uh, other distribution problems that the health sector has. Drones have been in use in Kenya for a while now at wedding parties and other private ceremonies. Politicians perfected their use during the campaigns to eliminate the crowds they had attracted to their rallies and to the amazement of the rally goers. Drones have also been useful to the media to highlight the extent of the damage that natural disasters have caused or to get captivating imagery from a bird's eye view. But the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority says all of that has been illegal. And even though the authority doesn't know how many drones there are in the country, it has given owners and operators six months to register them. It is illegal to operate a drone in Kenya unless and until you have come to KCAA and registered your drone. So, we are giving you six months to do so. For those of you who are operating drones already in this country, whether you're from the media or other private sources, please voluntarily come to us and register your drone. And then we will inform you what you need to do to be able to operate that drone in a lawful manner. Because it is very good for you to know what the rules and regulations are so that you can have safe drone operations. Flying a drone without permission from the authority will attract a fine of a maximum of 2 million shillings and or a prison sentence of 6 months. However, it is the costs that some of the drone operators are complaining about. For those who do not have one yet and wish to import one, you will need a permit of 20,000 shillings. After importing, depending on what you want to use it for, you will need to register it. The most expensive registration licenses will be for those operating drones for commercial purposes who will need to part with a registration fee of 50,000 shillings. The pilot flying the drone will also need a license to be renewed annually, and that too will cost between 20 to 40,000 shillings. The authority says there is a reason for the high costs. Despite their uses, drones are considered a security risk, and the fees were arrived at by the National Security Council. The reasoning behind these charges. And it wasn't us who came up with these charges. It was higher authority than us who came up with these charges. Was to deter the possibility of people who wish to create acts of unlawful interference from having free access or easy access to drone operations in Kenya. Was still, every time someone wants to use their drones, especially for private or recreational purposes, they will have to notify the Civil Aviation Authority, and each time a fee of 20,000 shillings will be charged. <laughs> Zipline will also need a special license because their drones go further than the eye can see, tens and even hundreds of kilometers. <laughs> At the moment, there are 500 drones that have been impounded by customs officials in many ports all over the country, and KCAA says their owners are free to go and collect them and have them registered. The authority says that after registration, it will not only have the exact details of the drones in the country, but also monitor how they are being used. While many small-scale and recreational users are concerned about the costs, Zipline sees an opportunity. Once it has the license to fly, it will be able to load its drones with essential supplies and deliver them quickly to areas that cannot be easily reached by road. KCAA says major international companies such as Uber and Facebook are lining up for licenses. I think it's premature to talk about whether or not the fees are fair because we really have nothing to compare it to. Other countries are so far behind Kenya in terms of even allowing this kind of thing. The Civil Aviation Authority says it will keep reviewing the rules governing the fees and what is allowed up in the air given the different needs and the technological advancements that are there every day. Andrew Ochiang, NTV.